Excuse me.
Gotta get my neck right. Killing me. God. What's up, everybody? It's good to see you all. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Well, I've been enjoying the new Fallout show. It's been really fun. And so, sorry for that loud-ass noise as I'm talking. I've been enjoying the Fallout show quite a bit. And, uh, well, we started playing Fallout 76. Um, I just created my character. And, yeah, let's see where we are from here. Check it out. This is our guy. Just made him. World found. Heck is killing me, dude. Okay, so yeah, we just created him. Went through the whole rigmarole, and then I was like, all right, let's. First, let's enjoy this too. Cheers. terminals nuclear tapper Yes, quit that. Cute little game, that is. One hand in this while we enjoy our Belize. This is our dude. This is our dude. We're one hand in this till we finish the Belize. Nice little bathroom here. Cool. Activate this. This is typical Bethesda stuff. Very cool. Very cute. Better not leave that running because knowing this game, they'll probably allow you to do that and then it'll shut something down later on. Reminder don't put TP on backwards. Need more sugar bombs. Sugar bombs. I think that's the cereal, if I'm not mistaken, right?
This looks a lot like the little vault that um, the lady was in in the show. <laughs> I played Fallout 3, like, back in the day, man. I, I don't really remember it that much. I mean, I do remember it, but I never played New Vegas and all these other ones. I just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, Hello. Time is gone for several hours. at last, today is your reclamation day. I okay. bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. Yeah. Nothing at all. The exterior sensors were taken out of commission after that unfortunate business with the nuclear bombs. With so many of your friends having been gone so long, I cannot begin to speculate how they've transformed Appalachia already. Mm. No, and we're not likely to get one. It's been months. Besides, she left this place behind to reclaim America. <laughs> it's past time you followed her example. Hearing him say it makes me want to play, uh, uh what do you call it? Um, Death Stranding. Yeah, because we, we're like traveling through America trying to reconnect it, reconnect the, the United, the, it's not the United States of America. It's like the United Colonies, the UC, I forgot, I think that's what they're called. Pretty sure. It is incredible <coughs> to hear how wonderful a job myself and the others have done maintaining the vault for these many months. But the food's all run out, and it's time to take what you've learned and use it. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best get cracking! The kiosks. If you find any other functioning Mr. Handy units out there, Any other functioning, Mr. Andy, Sir, send his regards. Uh, you've stayed so long past reclamation day. Our oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, ran, I ran through here right before the stream and, I, and it asked me to pick up like a, pick up the water and there's a healing, like a stim pack that we saw on the show last night. Then those stim packs were also in Fallout 3 too. I remember that. Yep, we took the meds. Terrifying leaving this warm, secure vault for a hostile wilderness with no running water or electricity. No running water or electricity. When you get outside, do remember your manners. Be nice. Be helpful. I'd be still trying to like live in the vault, just like rebuilding America. If, if I was a vault guy, I'd be like, all right, let me just hunt and get everything out around here it seems like a pretty secure well yeah i mean it seems like a pretty secure place now I will take those. Get a job. Are we supposed to be going through here? Oh yeah. This is but this is as far as I've gotten here, you know, right before I turned on the stream here. Still one handing it with our blood. Spec a, oh, spec a, pick a special load. Spec a load. Uh, this, okay. Battle ready dweller, best choice.
battle ready dwellers have leave the vault at level 20 with a special loadout of their choice well absolutely i would rather take this why wouldn't i specialist <coughs> Mmm, <laughs> the melee guy. 1000% the commando. Yeah, I guess we'll just be a 20. Ready to, yeah. But that doesn't mean that the game is going to be more difficult, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe it is. Who knows? Find out here in a sec. Might have needed to just pick the level two. It's a millimeter pistol. How do I select my weapon? Oh yeah, there is a thing. I could have swore there was a thing to like have it where he didn't show his backpack, but we'll we'll keep showing his backpack for now. I wanted to adjust. We did a little bit of adjusting of the settings already. I just want to adjust the brightness here. Um. Brightness and I know I saw the option to like hide the backpack too. <laughs> I like that, yeah, pacifist mode, yes. Really, there's no brightness, though? There's no brightness adjustment? God, that made me jump for a sec. OK, 
Okay, I guess we can't adjust. Like, how do I change my weapon? How do I change weapon also? Sorry, everybody. We're going to get it. Get it. Just, just give me a sec here. Ready, reload. Weapon, attack. RT, aim, block. How do I throw grenade? I bet you that's RB. Yep. Shit. Okay. Got to be a way in there. Speak to Pennington is what that objective is saying. A vault dweller? Hey there! Hey there! Whoa! Whoa! Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? God damn it. Huh. <sighs> we got a tip from the wayward. Heard of the place? You barred no. the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps... And he said that inside <laughs> that vault is the... You know... That's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. Big what? Oh shoot, I meant I meant to just get in here and adjust the, the volume of their I can't hear what they're saying. Yeah, that chat volume. Yeah, that chat volume can go down. I'm not I'm not talking to them. Uh, area, team, we'll just say automatic for now. Um, again, the, the brightness though, us not being able to turn, adjust it. That's a little crazy. That's a little crazy that there's no brightness. There really is no brightness in this. That's wild. To Lacey. She got us into this. Talk to Lacey. So were we in the right place? Is this where? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. There's treasure out here? Yeah. Well, yeah. There was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know what was in there? Wow. You, the guy was scamming us. But yeah. Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just going to stick it out until we find them. Ugh. <laughs> Wonderful. God, my neck is killing me. What's up, Moonlight? He's answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? We both came over from Virginia. How you doing? Well, Good to see you. It was Virginia. There's a lot more hot zones that way. West Virginia. There are a few spots that are livable. Well, they got picked clean oh, fast. My neck. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous. Really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Okay, well, I better get going. Watch I'm not yet. I will. We. What's with the guns? Ah, okay, I see now. That's the fire rate that we are adjusting. All 
already full health. That's for emoting. Oh, that's where we select stuff. Ah, uh, short hunting rifle. What's change? Oh, we can swap it out with something else. I get it now. I was supposed to sleep already, so I worked them out, but I just been, uh, just been fixed Skyrim. Ooh, okay. Well, we just started, uh, we just created a character on Fallout 76. Uh, we were watching the show, and I was like, damn, that's actually pretty fun. Well, it's good to see you. Looks like we're both up not being able to sleep well. I'm live on YouTube. I think that's where you're watching me right now. I'm commercial free over there. I guess my objective is, yeah, my objective is down there, right? Weak, feral, ghoul. Oh, shit! That's the wrong weapon. Yeah, pull that out instead. Okay. Idiots. Yeah. No. <laughs> Press and hold uh, to open the show social menu. Join. Was I just invited? Public teams, join. I don't know how to join. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. I definitely want to take Whoa, all nearby corpses? Oh. oh. That's incredible. Free war money. I don't know how I declined that. Evo Jin. Like, I didn't see that. Public team. Team. Team, team. Uh, that was strange. Whoa. Yeah, where's the pistol? I, I could have swore I had a pistol here, too. Wasn't there like a like a ten millimeter pistol or something like that? <laughs> We're learning. I guess I don't have that pistol yet. All right, we need to get our hands on one. Visit the Wayward, wherever that is. I guess we could probably pull this camera back a little. We could we could always be in first person. Oh. You know what? The first person actually looks really good in this. Um, wow, that's actually looking really impressive. The first person in this. Let's take it back to third. I was like, where's the button that allows me to push the camera back? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Mm. 
new miscellaneous quest available track quest from the pit boy ah okay it's under data I'm picking a radio overseer I should tune in my pit boy to listen in Reclamation Day. How do I should tune in my pit boy to listen? How do I tune in the pit boy? Broadcasting to the people of Vault 76. This is the Overseer. We need to talk face to face. I've missed all of you, but this isn't just about a reunion. We have work to do. Oh boy. I'll be waiting in Sutton. You said I'll be waiting in where? Sutton? Sutton? So the overseer's alive. They said they just haven't heard from her for a while. Responders camp signal. What's happening? Hi, folks. This oh. is Jeff Nakamura of the responders. We've set up a camp at Flatwoods, and we're offering supplies, medical treatment, and survival training to anyone in need. Look for us in the church across from the Flatwoods Tavern, and if you can volunteer some time to help out, you could definitely this message will repeat. That's interesting. So, are, is this is, are they legit helping, or is that like a trap or something? Like, are they like is this like on Walking Dead at the the terminal station? They were calling people there to eat them. So I got three things tasked there. Talk to the overseer, go to Fort Atlas, and visit the Wayward. You remember that part in The Walking Dead? Oh yeah, man. We um we just started watching The Ones Who Live. We watched the first episode like a few days ago. I, we'll probably watch a couple more episodes today along with more Fallout. We're like up to episode three in Fallout now. <laughs> Yeah, I want to focus on one quest at a time also. Into a world of stories as weird and wild as man's imagination can conjure. A world where anything is possible. Where science and the mystical combine in surprising and unpredictable adventures. Enter a world of astounding awful tales. You still watching The Walking Dead? I stopped watching Walking Dead for a while, but I'm starting to watch a different show. Oh, okay, okay. We, me and Gabby, we watched the bulk of our walk. I watched a lot most of the new stuff. We came back for Negan, and it was during like the pandemic. Like the pandemic is when we got heavy with Walking Dead. Is this wayward over here? Taylor, navigator, and monster lore. 
join the crew, dear listeners, as we find Make the only this active, yeah. Just make that active. Tonight, we have a short but sweet Focus on one thing at a time here, right? Watching the nation? I don't know. I like it because... Wait, wait, hold on. Can we turn off this fucking radio? You smell that? Now that... Thank you. Um... I like it because some guy in the show was looking at his name is supposed to be 10k, but his name is Tommy. What show is this? What's this other show you're watching? With a different show. Isolated cabin, here we go. Search around, look around, look around. Not interested in building any shelters. What's this right here? Speak to Lane. That's the vault I just came from. Oh, this is the wayward. Yeah, let's go talk. Go talk to Lane real quick. I like how that map is there. I'm a big fan of that map just being there. Oh, I can just see what's closest to me and just select it and make it active. Um, I like that a lot. I, I wish more RPGs let you just do that. Like, just pick the nearest thing on the map. And you just make it active, you know? I mean, he's just a scavenger. Our dude's over here. I don't know where his stamina bar is at. Oh yeah, and the pit boy points. Um I did not mean to stem pack. Okay. Oh, and that's rat away. Got it. You hit X to rat away. Okay. Tracking now. I'm watching the nation. Oh, it's called the nation. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's called the nation. Okay, okay. I'm tracking now. Music here is nice. Talk to Lane. He'll have something for you to do. Talk to Lane. Is there action happening up here? June handles the supplies. You're looking for provisions. We may have sourced some inventory from passing vault dwellers. I hope that's not offensive. Hello there, stranger. Where'd you come ambling Z in Nation. Z Nation. Okay, okay. I think Gabby was watching that. Damn those scorch. All right. Well, I won't press you on it. Not my place to poke and prod. I'm an outsider myself, you know, manner of speaking. And it's making my job a tad difficult. Oh, excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Names you're watching though? That's what's up. I'm with the responders. We're a band of How is your Skyrim going? I want you to tell me um, fast. what kind We're of character did you make in Skyrim? Off each other's throats. Three, five, I know, yeah, I like I like that. I like to think so. It gives me hope Do that one day right all the wrongs in this world. What, well, yeah, what 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 class yeah, are you in Skyrim? In this neck of the woods, more than I can tackle myself. You got ferocious beasts roaming the forest, creepy cult moving into the caves. Magic? Are you doing melee weapons? Are you a bow and arrow? Are you doing magic staff? Say, what are we what are we talking about? And I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? We have to come together to survive. 
I did say that you would be duly compensated. That much is only fair. Let's see what's going on today. <coughs> we aren't the only ones moving into the forest. We got some new neighbors, and I would like to keep on their good One hand in magic. We okay, supplies, okay. Bandages, a little food. Stealth? Any stealth in there? A little care package for them. Do that for me, and you'll earn your reward. Any stealth? Any alchemy? What are we talking here? The Blue Ridge Caravan Company from Big Ben. They set up a little camp for conducting business in the area. We use the supplies they sell, and it never hurts to show yeah. them gratitude. Right, I guess I'll help this dude Thank out. You. See that it's delivered safely. The three packages. There's one food parcel. The missive, and the third one is bandages. I love being out here in the wilderness. Makes me feel so alive. Tinkers work, but craft a. What? You have sounds around your soul. Oh, already. <coughs> Responders care All package. Must be chopped. Make. Yes. Well, my character's up. She is a witch. Ooh. What color hair? What color is a hair? You know, I'm a huge fan of Elder Scrolls Online. I still play that game regularly. Well, not regularly, but I still play that game. I like that game a lot, actually. Um. Okay, I'm looking on the compass down there. Oh, I see it down there. The diamond. That's it. I just like to just have one thing and just focus on it at a time and kind of enjoy the world. The stamina for this guy is awful. I just gotta say. Sonny makes a good hoagie. Uh-uh. I got here first. I'm gonna go find this some spot. Sonny makes a good hoagie. Sonny makes a good hoagie. Yeah, I want that short rifle. And you know what else, too? Um, I kind of want that rat away here. Where's the rat away? Where's the rat away? I put the rat away down there. Yeah, there we go. What's that down there on the map, on that compass? Interesting. Her hair is like cherry red. Ooh. Are you doing any hats or helmets on her? And what are your thoughts on Elder Scrolls Online? Problems back in the day. But look what else it brought. Damn, what's this place? Wants order in the wasteland, and they have my vote. Someday, Daily better tomorrow. I'll deliver the package. This is a restricted area, civilian. Oh, is this the Brotherhood of Steel stuff? She just said it's a restricted area. All right, let me leave. I don't want to cause any trouble with them. <laughs> Interesting. That looks okay. Looks like a Brotherhood of Steel group encampment there. Cherry red. That's fucking dope as hell, man. Well, I tried to play the game for some reason. They can they can take off my weapon because I'm struggling and I control. Whoa. Dude, I'm sorry. Oh, that was the tick. So far, it's a pretty chill game. 
Definitely gotta get some more clothes. <laughs> Rocking this vault gear. Vault 74. Or 76. Sorry. I bet you can pick them off before they even know you're there. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Return to the lane. Can we fast travel back to lane? <laughs> this is a better workout than trucking ever was. Where's lane? Just about time to eat. Where is Lane? On the map. Where's the next stop again? Oh, we really need to clean up around here. Return to Lane. All right, so let me look. Okay, so he's facing here. This is the direction. Is Lane like far away? Where is Lane? Talk to Overseer. The Wayward. There it is right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's so small. Cost three caps to fast travel. All right. We'll, we'll not do that. <laughs> we don't want to make a habit of that. Well, I got the game free. Someone gifted me. Oh, snap. Hell yeah. That's what's up. I'm checking this out through Game Pass. Hunting rifle can be automatic. Oh no, that's just that is the changing of the weapons, is the left on the D-pad. Beautiful game this is. What's the FPS looking like, by the way? Yeah, see it's like that's not really good. Oh wait, now I'm seeing 60. I wouldn't mind. Um, we've got to see the performance on here too, right? Mm. Oh, and depth of field. So yeah, we're not going to shut down the whole game just yet, because then it'll... We really should, actually. So, I mean, that way we know that it's going to... Um, perform the way that I want it to. Even the world, please stand by. Yeah, yeah, I was like, let me just close the whole damn game. There we go. Now you reboot it again. Yeah, cause I, I wanted it to be a consistent 60. It was like it was like the upper 50s, and I was just like, nope, 60 plus. I was like, let me just toggle one one or two things. That's the beautiful thing about this playing on here, um, is being able to do that. I love that a lot, actually. This music, <laughs> this swanky ass music. Take me there.
Consistent, solid 60 FPS. That's what I want him. <sighs> the Mothman Equinox. Well, I bought last year WWE Raw. Oh, you mean Raw 2023, the WWE game? I didn't know you liked wrestling, uh, Moonlight. I didn't know you were a fan of wrestling, the WWE. Love WWE. on one guy Cody he just won the bell at Wrestlemania last week mm -hmm. Cody Rhodes Protect him against the tribal chief and the rock this shit was incredible you're back you delivered the package successfully <laughs> well done on behalf of the responders, I can't thank you enough. You helped us make progress toward a more peaceful world. I sure wish I could say that's all the help I needed, but the work never ends. If you're in the neighborhood again sometime, I will always welcome more of your help. Stay in the meantime, though. Here's your payment. Have a good day now. This game is already better than Starfield. Welcome to Wayward. Might be a bit of a hike, I'm guessing. I don't know. We're about to find out. We're about to find out, ain't we? Sen Homestead. She got me all figured out. She left me with a broken heart. Jimmy! That's right, baby. Well, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep, and we started watching Fallout the other day, and I really liked that show. And so I felt like trying this out. 76. How the hell are you doing, by the way, man? the 
nearby corpses. A fucking fence. <laughs> what episode are you on, man? I'm on episode three. Yeah, we're on episode three. Just started watching it last night. I was like, this is actually a pretty funny show. I mean, not funny, but it's actually a pretty cool show. Yeah, yeah. I've got my green screen up, so I'm getting closer to starting back up again. Hell yes, man. What are you What are you going to play when you start back up again? What's going to be the returning game? And what sort of time frame are you are we thinking here? Are we thinking like this weekend or something like that? That's when that's happening. Corey's in here too. What the heck? <laughs> the heck y'all doing, man? <laughs> Good to see y'all, man. What is everybody playing today? Like, what are we all playing? Soldier, rage your heart on DS1. Damn. What's your class in DS1? Are you a magic build? Or are you like a melee build? Are you a bow and arrow? What, what, what's, what's your build looking like in, in uh... Ooh, Pyro! That's a good, that's a good build, man. I love Pyro in uh, Dark Souls 3. Oh, God, it was so good. <laughs> melee? Okay, you gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All four heavily modded. I haven't see I haven't played um, Fallout 4 yet and I just got these on game pass I don't know if we can Baby, do the mods on the game pass ones or not I know Starfield right could still be modded Sweetheart, I think you must be sick honey you picked the wrong time to get a drink what's this what are you hey who the hell are you So the guy hiding back there can blow your brains out. Hi, guy. Little help. Oh, my God. Guy. Oh, that's badass. I told you it was going to end badly. That's now badass. I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Yeah. Duchess trade. I just want to interact huh. with her. Well, okay. Not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Even on Game Pass. Oh, okay, okay. First rounds on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. We just installed Fallout 4. Also, we'll probably uh switch to that after we finish Plan 76 here, so I can kind of get some. I mean, I pretty much understand the differences already. But what was that all about? He said something about a treasure. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named guy. Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Crane. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been Beat making Seth. my life S irritating. Oh, Seath, the scaleless exactly doing DLC. For a Damn! Corey, I'm enjoying uh, Death Stranding again, by the way, especially now that I know how to like play the game, like melee and just run away from the whenever. Oh yeah, it's a fun game. My comeback stream, I'm starting with Disneyland is my land. It is a live Disneyland is my land. Is a live strategy game. I think you meant to say this is my land. I don't think you meant to say Disneyland. I'm assuming that must be like the auto spell correct thing. And I think I'll get back into Skull and Bones. If I have time, I will do survival on the music. I think it's this is my land. Is it really Disneyland? You're playing a Disneyland game? Oh, <laughs> I'm joking. I know. I know it's a typo. <laughs> yeah, this is my land. Yeah. <laughs> DLC enemies are boulders, bro. Yeah, that's my always. That's always been my number one complaint about from software DLC. That's why I'm a little nervous about the Elden Ring. Um, is from software they tend to like overdo it with the dlc because if we've already completed the game like by now it's been years like we're, we're like we can pretty much do everything and anything in the game and then they just want to give us that first time challenge again and sometimes it can be a bit of a shock to the system trying to revisit that trying to re uh, reclaim that um instinct that you once had in that that game so I'm a little nervous about the DLC. I feel like I, I don't, I mean, I expect to complete Shadow of the Erd Tree, but I get nervous that the enemies might be too much on there. But 
we'll see. We were kind of overpowered um, by the end of that game. And so, well, I don't want to say overpowered, but we were pretty high level at the end of that game. And I want to see what they're going to do about that going forward. Exclusive game, I so said you should check it out. Same. Yeah, like, I'm just like, they kind of like Dark Souls and the one that sticks out to me the most is the Dark Souls 3 DLC. I was like, these are way more difficult than I want them to be right now. <laughs> this is my land. Now that you mentioned this is it, my land. I could use an extra pair of hands. The painted See, world. Yeah, that, that stuff. Down, oh my god. He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Sig Normally, oh, Freed, my people out Frida and um, what's that boss fight with Frida so and the dude with the, the, to spare the right pot, now. the melting pot? I'm willing pot. to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. <laughs> so, what do you say? Yeah, how much are you paying me? Fifty caps if you can get the job. Should I done. post my mod first? What is a what mod is it? What what mod is you talking about? Seventy five's as high as I'll go, and for that kind of money, I expect to never hear from those boys again. Now, that mean you're on the case? All right, I'm on it. That's what I was. Now, each of these boys came in asking we'll after Fallout. credit. I, I can I'll I find mine. I'm pretty sure I'll us. find it. All the mods How I'm using. You, grab the attention of a you don't have to post it on here, but I mean you can tell me like which ones you're using. I'm afraid about using my I used mods. The only time I've ever used mods in a game was for Starfield. Um, I hope it doesn't break my PC intelligence. You want me to pretend to be crane, don't you? It's always got people running in the vault. Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. What, okay, Just what mods are you second. using, Grayson? Well, I has some really terrible guns, so I downloaded better ones. Really? More realistic ones. Damn, what's she doing? I think I'll just... Am I supposed to be following her? No, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom. Soon I'll have my GoPro for my IRL streams. If in I trail didn't cam. The plans too yes. Bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make the prairie dog. an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. That's so badass, Jimmy. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits <gasps> out to tell the world you're open for business. And then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Uh... Sure, I know how to build structure. Hmm. Build a sign? Are you crazy? I don't know how to do that. You vault boys and girls carry yourselves different. Like you matter. Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway. But that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? I know how to build structure. Um. Huh. Damn. Okay. Okay. Let's see. New plan. We paint all the Brahmin, and then we. That just plan's fine. I can walk them through how to build it. How's that exactly? I was hunkering down for quite some time, waiting for this headless monster thing to clear off on my last ammo hunt. Ended up reading some old training materials past time, and guess what? Made some tapes on it. Oh, Mort. Not the tapes. <laughs> you have Mort? a better option? Not one that doesn't involve painting all my cattle. <laughs> there you go, I suppose. You can talk to Mort. We're really gonna be painting his cattle? Of course you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover the you there. The M4 mod Glock? Get you to Damn! Get you care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, of armor, you might have plate. to break Damn. some of the scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials too, since you're doing me such a big one. These vortex knows, mods? Maybe you'll are, we, are we talking like vortex it. mods? Those are the mods now, that I used. You ready to get this show on the road? Yes, let's do Hot it, dog. I guess. 
Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Hot dog. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. The wayward oh, gets left alone. and on alone. the topic of leaders, you know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point, but it seems it might have been <laughs> left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher. Read the plan, crane, treasure map, hunting signs, commit. Ugh. your inventory okay so it's gonna be let's see here it's gonna be um you click it by okay i got it now tato Track the quest from the pit boy. Go back to data. All right, let's go talk to this jabroni. Crazy. Now that is we got the parts crazy. to make it now. They hand you vault kitties, all this fancy equipment and then just throw you to the walls. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. I'd never you eat a... Uh, that, that's now. okay, Grayson. I, here, I, plus, I'm never on my... I never touch the Discord now, very much in any way. Time for the ultimate battle of Koi versus Knight Artorius. Holy frick. Man, you're making me want to fucking... <laughs> I've been, like... Tempted to like get the uh, all three of the Dark Souls games on PC, Grayson. I can just I'm I'm gonna I can look for these on Vortex, right? I don't, you don't have to do all of that. I'll be fine looking for it on the Vortex, brother. But you're making me want to replay the Dark Souls, man. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament, but. If I'm gonna help you, I want something in return. And what is that? All right, listen, I got this plan. <laughs> he wants me to kill You're gonna help me get rich. Oh, See, God. The folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They oh, dab the 30. Folks sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places, you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now, this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you Volters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. It's <coughs> <coughs> only voice I got, so, yeah, that's what you're gonna hear. Now, you want them or not? You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> What? Well, hey. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? Allergies. Learned the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> come on, man. That's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on doomsday. Now, you see, I drove security. And I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble and it ain't quiet. Then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind. And it was yeah. like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering in the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. 
And when I unlock the door and into the back and then bang, I wake up, man. And it's crazy. Somehow in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us ghouls. Not the most ghouls. flattering name, but still beats being. What do you mean he went Super Saiyan on you? Oh my god, PC. We have a new strain, y'all. I forgot to tell you guys, we have a new strain. We haven't even tried it out yet. You guys want to see it? I have a new strain. It's called Candy Runts. You guys know I love runt strains. Different variations of it, whether it's like the white runts, black runts, um, the wedding runts. I've got it back here. Currently, we're currently still smoking through the jet fuel. There's our jet fuel, but let me show you guys. I haven't even tested it yet. <coughs> it's candied runts. Candy runts. Deep, dark, rich, bold flavors. But we're currently smoking The jet fuel. Dude, that's jet fuel. But here's the runs. You see? The candy runs, man. <laughs> Big, beautiful. I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to like roll something up with it now, but. I'll just, I like to just kind of go through one strain at a time these days. And so I'm still just kind of going through the, the jet fuel <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Put this one back. This one's precious. This one looks really nice. Setting, uh, it's gonna be nice. We got 420 coming up next Saturday, too, y'all. I don't know if they have super booth in your area, but if you can buy that strain, you will not regret it. Oh, yeah, they don't, it's not legal here where I live, so I can't, I can't get, I don't have the dispensaries that luxury, unfortunately. From the inventory. There's more schematics. Welcome oh, yeah, we got back, these tapes. lovely listeners, to Headmaster Mort's these final dumbass tape tapes from him. No, I'm in North Carolina, oh, NC, not NYC, NC. <laughs> be well I'm a North Carolinian. Yeah, I'm 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 from Kansas City. I was born in so, Memphis, but I live most of my life in Kansas City. Um, but I live out here in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do, 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 do. Ah, screw it. All right, I, I'll assume you nailed it. Now, generators. Are the yeah, we were. Yeah, uh, Florida's like a ten-hour drive from here. Yeah. All you need to do is connect it to the North Carolina is awesome. It's great. I like it. <laughs> so, but it ain't legal out here. <laughs> Obstructed path to establish and maintain a direct connection. Some objects, however, like simple light bulbs, do not require a highlight your generator. How do I highlight All the generator? You do is run a wire from your generator to a power pylon. Place the power pylon near your lights, then voila, let there be lights. I don't think I can do well, anything. This has been Headmaster Mort's camp construction hollow tapes. All right, let's Please listen to the tape two. Hello, dedicated the tape listeners. two, the next one after, the, after that one. Welcome back to Headmaster Mort's Edutapes. Today, in this second tape, we are talking construction. Now, the first step of construction is... Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Oh, it's real beautiful, yeah. Elected. Mountains first here, elected. there's a what beach. Beach, mountains, deep forest, southern vibe. It's cool. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Very nice. All right. Okay. I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape. I'm building. I've been to it. Uh, I've been to Atlanta. I've been to Atlanta twice, actually. All the required materials too. Who the hell bled on my nose? Saw. If I find out it was you, you're gonna bleed on. Whatever. Just finish work. Short on materials. Loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Okay. Missing a critical schematic? Your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note, this has been Headmaster Mort's Edutapes. Edutapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me this. <laughs> it's like trying to get somebody. <laughs> what tiny fist that a rat built? Oh, oh, wait a this is first God. tape. Hello? Yeah, you can tell Hello. it's hella rough. Yeah, hella, this hella, is uh. Uh, scuffed. And welcome to the first of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. Today we're talking about your camp. Edutapes. Now, you former can't. vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. You can't. Placing your camp. When plunking down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to Remember to take the lay of the land. The lay of the Consider land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility, and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. To start building. Okay, we're gonna start. What's going on here? Overseer's log. South of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but mutated Guess we'll animals, just leave out here. Maybe we'll go outside and do. Oh, well, we still need to no so read the plan crane treasure hunting site. Okay. What I can confirm is hostile territory. Where is it? Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. Where is it? You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches. Oh, okay, we already got all it. All built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly. Stop the attacks on Wayward for good. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. Round two versus night. Oh, <laughs> night artery. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm going to be placed back down in the new area. You yeah, we got yeah, yeah, we're going to we're, we're going to turn off. If no one ever told me. Turn turn that off. There you go. No, read read plan. Crane treasure hunting. Okay. <laughs> I must be going past it. Tato? No, I'm not. Read. Can he not? Pl oh, except. Overlaps an existing area. Oh. Let's go out here. Shit. Can we place it here? Near. Okay, yeah, it's near. Too close, dude. You got him? Are you freaking serious? Let's go! Somebody there? 
Good work, man. Oh shit. It's go time. Oh shit. Uh, that was horrible. <laughs> Scorch to the ferals don't get you. Some of Man's these guys. Real. Yeah, I'm just trying to get out into the wilderness here so I can build the thing. Let's go. This is a very fun boss for you. That's really good for your second try. You took him out. That that one took several, a lot of tries for me. Elden Ring. We've got to get away from places I get. Oh shit. Ah, I just heard uh, like a, a ghoul oh, shit right there. How do I do the vest thing again? That grenade work? Let's try the vats on this guy. funny man oh my gosh thank you sir 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 thank you thank you thank you for the follow what's the gazebo what do you mean gazebo i, I missed the gazebo what are you talking about my friend gazebo thank you for that i don't know if you're japanese anime fan but the first four seasons of my hero oh yes I've seen up to season two of My Hero Academia, or My Hero uh, Ac Macadamia Nut, as I like to call it sometimes. Um, we need to get out, like, in wilderness, right? If we need to be away from... That's still too close to stuff. Oh, right here, it's green. Read the plan. Yeah, where the fuck is the schematic at? Bench at your camp scrap items. This is the camp, right? What am I building? It's like an uh, object to build. Jesus Christ. build mode without collision and unlock oh okay okay
Got it, got it, okay, okay. <laughs> attach what? Oh, wire, yeah, we have to attach the wire. Are we attaching the wire? What are we attaching it to? Oh yeah, we need electricity, right? Yeah, exit this. Build a weapons workbench. Load broadcast tape into a radio tower and activate the connection know, let's try to build that weapon bench again right so like it was blueprint stored recent floors walls crafting what is that? Cooking station, armor workbench, weapons workbench right here. Scrapping weapons or armor, any workbench uh, with X will give you a chance to learn new mods for the scrapped item type. Okay. Store scrap. All right, so well, let's. Scrap these. We could scrap the multi purpose axe. Uh, I want to scrap. We don't need to scrap anything else. I did see another shotgun out there that I thought about uh, selling, but we'll, just, we'll, we'll know that we have the scrap here. So now the next thing load broadcast tape. All right, we're going to head to this tower here. Has anyone seen the new Fallout TV show? Yes. I'm on episode three as well, Corey. That's what made me download this. Uh, it's actually a very fun show. I love Walter Goggins too, man. I love Walter Goggins. Love his character. Love his character a lot. <laughs> his deals, he's making you lose your mind. That's why I'm afraid of the Elden Ring DLC and like even the Bloodborne DLC. Um, well, I will admit the Ludwig fight was pretty awesome. But it was still really hard. <laughs> but it's probably because my first time playing him was like, I was on like New Game Plus 2, I think. I don't remember. It was hard first time. When next time I play Bloodboard, I want to start it over again, like not on a New Game Plus. I want, I wish that game had a New Game Plus 0, by the way. Sir, sir. Sir, 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 sir. It's pretty awesome. It's a good show, sir, sir. Oh, whoa, hold on. So with this robot here. Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, we'll take that scrap, dude. Keep it pushing. Keep it bloody pushing, mate. Oh, this reminds me of uh, Escape from Tarkov, looking at this in first person. <laughs> step by step, day by day by day. This time rolling, keep you nice. Gabby? How you doing, sweetheart? Good with you. Lady soldier made me jump a little bit. <laughs> you get used to be, it being so quiet and low, and also you hear, oh, what was that? <laughs> Is it a ghost? Is it a ghoul? <laughs> this is a pretty chill game so far. This Fallout 76. Load broadcast tape into a radio tower and activate the connection. 
But we're heading to it. I don't know how far this place, how much farther this place is. Oh, it's just right over there. Oh, shit. A protectron? That was cute. Need to reload. This ain't Hell Divers. Ooh, might play Hell Divers after this. <coughs> the Olicle Township is even more for infuriating, downright cat shit than the whole Blight Town. I uh, I hate Blight Town so much, man. I hate Blight Town so much. The way it looks, the 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 way it's designed, the way you have to traverse through it, the giant mosquitoes. You know, I hate that. You gotta run in the bloody poison pool. Shit, blood, poison pool. It's like a lake of shit, blood, and poison. And it's like scalding hot or something. Bad place to be. And it's dark. It's like three stories or whatever. Hell no. I hate Blight Town. <laughs> I hate Blight Town, man. And that also, there's a, um, I kind of like, I kind of hated the lava place in Dark Souls 2. The one where it had a whole bunch of like the big horned guys there. Uh, I think it was bef before you had to fight the sea, I don't remember which boss you had to fight there. Oh. I don't like that forest in Bloodborne either. The one with the snakes and shite. Beautiful game. Oh. <laughs> get that shotgun. Yeah, get that shotgun out here, man. Get that shotgun. Um, saw it earlier. Oh, tell me it's at the top. This bolt action pistol. Uh, oh, there it is right there. There it is right there. There it is right there. Oh, it's only got seven shots in it, though. Wouldn't do that, killer. <laughs> That's beautiful. Double barrel. What is a pipe rifle? No bonfires. Fuck that. <laughs> That was cute. Oh my god, look at that. Virginia. No bonfires. None. Access in the SDS network. I'm thinking about playing a little Hell Divers shortly. I 
Hey, baby. How are you? I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> How do I load? Oh, okay. Please insert tape into the connection target. Oh, wait, I can level up? Look. It says I can level up there. My perks. You have unopened perk packs. Would you like to open them? Yes. Set the quantity. Uh, except what am I getting here? Guys, watch this. Uh, use a sponge. Ooh, you ever try to spoil things? Shit, slower. Your target specific damage is uh. The revive other players with liquor. Quack surgeon. Oh, I like that. Gain gradual health while you're at the camp. Your bows cost is, um, it's definitely gonna be that stamp, that sprinting one. You hear directional audio when in range of a magazine. Take less from that. Oh, that's towards agility. Gotta make pistols now do 10% damage. <laughs> you found one? <laughs> Collect as much uh, sprinting. Add increased AP costs. Oh, no. <laughs> that picture. Bow before me. I can carry accuracy. Is this disease, charisma? Mm -mm. Luck. It's probably going to be uh, agility. What's the one for assault rifles, though? Right? Sneak attacks. Spread to consume uh, action points. No, I already own that one. Accept that. We can rank it up. Marath Marathoner. Okay. Challenge complete. Equipped. I want to equip the stamina stuff.
Huh. Alright, so now we can act now that we looked at the broadcast that tape on our pit boy. Load broadcast tape into a tower and activate the connection. I mean inspect zoom in please insert tape what is this oh it's not letting me put this tape in. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's telling me I need to drop it. Time for Manus. Who is that? Does anybody know how to do this? Like, how the fuck do I load the broadcast tape? Does anybody know? I'm Googling this real quick. How do I load the broadcast tape? Excuse me. Bottom of your screen, not in the terminal screen, but your actual computer screen. <laughs> Easy to miss prompt that says R to load hollow tape. Oh, okay. There should be okay, they say it's easy to miss. I mean, isn't that what we're doing? Not working either. Oh, load holotape down there. Okay. Overseer's log. Okay. Got it. Okay, okay. I got it. You're awesome. Thank you, sir, sir. Broadcast call. Attention, all consumers. New business established. Please seek out. Turn Play. to your camp. Treasure hunting. Incorporated. All right. Exchange goods and services. Initiate tagline. Right, we're heading back to the camp. <gasps> Incredible. <laughs> Flatwoods look out. We got to get some. What was that? Oh, there's a person over there doing stuff. <laughs> Keep forgetting there's other people around here, too. <laughs> oh, wow. This wow. Look at all that. <laughs> it's the hardest DLC boss. Jesus. Good luck, brother. <laughs> Rub my neck, dude. This shit hurts. Saying Apex Legends. <laughs> I had fun playing Onslaught and Destiny, by the way, yesterday. <sighs> you know what? 
Where's your bloody camp? Can we just like fast travel there? Fast travel. Do it. Yeah, just do it, dude. <laughs> you just got him on the first try. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> yeah. What Frisky said. <laughs> Wait to see who the sign draws in. All right. Who is this guy? It's drawing him in. <laughs> What's up? Whoa. You're not Crane. What the hell's going on here? You're not Crane. Crane found the treasure. Where's Crane? Holy shit. Where is he? He's dead. Probably not much more than you. He came to Appalachia, not far back, hunting for the same treasure everyone else is. Last time I saw him, he mentioned something about an abandoned storage facility he'd picked up some details on, but beyond the general, he didn't share. Now, your turn. Where is he? Fine. I'll find Crane myself. Thanks for nothing, prick. What? You gonna steal my identity too? Everybody's looking for this Crane? dude. This it? Thought you were some oh, really? kind of big shot. So, rumor we're gonna play Hell Divers, and then we're gonna play uh, after we play Hell Divers, we're probably gonna play Fallout you tell Four. Me where this also, treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. <laughs> so you tell me where your hideout is, or I'll turn you inside out. Luck, I bet your name is Davy. What? Uh, uh, sure. Fine, <laughs> fine. We we took over the West with him? Virginia Lumber Company in the Northwest. C come on, let's get out of here. Learn the location of the gangster. Okay. Report what you found to Duchess. The Duchy. Duchy. Fallout 4. I played Fallout 3 back in the day and I thought it was pretty cool. This is Fallout 76. This is the online uh, Fallout game. It's pretty cool so far. I enjoy it. Play a little first person. Unidentified intruder detected. Wait, what? Who? Beginning Where? Search. Hostile target identified. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be with you. <laughs> I miss Armor Core. I used to play that game all the time. Y'all got sick of it too. <laughs> that shit was so good. God, that game was so good. <laughs> it's so good. I bought it twice. I was like, I'll play it again. I was like, I, I was like, I, I, I need this on my PC collection. I had it on Xbox. Beat it three times. Box beat it four time on there. Beat it four times on PC. <laughs> Gotta fight this optional boss now named Black Dragon Karamit. Karamir Musher. I don't know, is it Katamia? Isn't that what he says? Katamia. 
This is awesome. When we transition over to Hell Divers, we're gonna have a blunt break too. You guys wanna do a blunt break with me when we transition to Hell Divers in about five minutes? Because remember, we got the new War Bond pack. And so there's new guns, new armor, stuff like that to be experimenting with also. There goes my alarm. <laughs> Today we're just gonna do cardio in the gym though. <laughs> well, you don't look too worse for you guys wanna, you guys wanna smoke a blunt with me? You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, we're gonna do. We'll we'll smoke a blunt, um, and then we we're gonna play Hell Divers, and then after Hell Divers, cause that we're gonna use that as a break between Fallout, cause I don't want to play Fallout Four immediately after being like that's too much Fallout. So like we'll do Hell Divers as a nice block of fast paced wake me up energy, a little bit of you know uh, high octane, and then we'll go back and we'll not go back. Then we're gonna. Play Fallout 4. We're gonna create our create our character on there and give that a go as well. I'm gonna grab the weed. It's back here. I, I, I might. Should we try the new strain that we got? Should we? Should we try this new strain that we got? called you guys know i'm a huge fan of runts different variations of the runts a, a runts hybrid well runts itself is a hybrid but um this one is candy runts bonus strain review i don't mind doing that we can do that as we're pulling into hell divers matter of fact you know what we're gonna we'll uh after this mission let me finish whatever it is i gotta say to her i did it sounds like they're Headquartered at West Virginia Lumber Company. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. Oh, this you is a, we got to. a boss fight. Wait, 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 West Virginia Lumber? <laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why exactly? Was wandering up that way. Oh, there's still a whole bunch in here. The lumber Company? That place was we gotta roll Broadway multiple blunts. Big green bastards. We gotta roll multiple You've seen bloods. Those Frankensteins. <laughs> if this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this uh we'll let's roll say, up one with the old, with uh, the jet fuel pretty bold claims because we still had jet fuel in here milk. wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them and then there's this shit. yeah yeah so like we we got look at the differences see this is the jet fuel lighter greener drier smaller bits still the same quantity amount and then here's the candy runts, darker, heavier purples, softer, a little bit more moist, bigger nugs, chunkier nugs because they're stickier, I guess. I don't know. Both beautiful strains. Both beautiful strains. I should take a picture. I always take a picture. That's a beautiful flower. That's a very beautiful flower. Jesus Christ, man. 
how lucky am I? Right? How 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 lucky? How lucky am I right now, dude? To get to enjoy such such sweet sweet stuff there. There's no skin off my cheeks. If you change your mind, I'll be yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna remain here. We're gonna leave this game. Menu, quit, quit to the desktop. Yeah, we're gonna leave the world. We're gonna load. We're, we're gonna do some blunt rolling right now. We're gonna do some blunt rolling, everybody. And I kind of might want to watch. We should probably pull up like some Hell Divers videos on the new weapons and the new armor and stuff like that that we're getting in this pack. Um. Last night I played a little bit. I wasn't feeling that good yesterday. Um, I want to do a little bit more of a deep dive on some of the weapons there that, they, that they've got. Hell Divers. Let's change the category here on YouTube as well. We'll change it up to Hell Divers. Two. Hell Divers two. And we're going to put that Fallout 76. And then we'll put Hell Divers 2 in the description as well. Hell Divers 2. Yeah, Fallout 4. Save that. There we go. Good, good, good. These back to bed for a bit. Lurk. Lurk away. Lurk away, Frisky. Lurk away. Yeah, these late night streams. In the middle of the night. Can't sleep streams, man. Like the what was the other one that I had? It was one that was called the In the Heat of the Night. It's fantastic, let me tell you, man. It really was. In the heat of the night stream, just be something else. <laughs> Maxim News. I wanted to look up, uh, oh yeah, Hell Divers. Yeah, Explosive War Bond. There we go. This guy says he's unlocked and tested every weapon. see what he says look at that what is this what is that what is this weapon this is like if this is insane this is actually insane yeah look at that this is crazy what is this everybody yeah we are gonna roll a blunt we're gonna we're gonna play some hell divers very shortly but i wanted to watch a video about this about this new war bond we are we've already had we've already acquired it started we've already picked up these weapons not the pistol yet, uh, but picked up the armors as well. Uh, but I barely touched them yesterday, so we're gonna give it a good, a good look at here in a bit. Get a good smoke in first. What actually is this? Surely not. Surely, Surely not. not. Surely not. Oh, okay. It detonated before he got there, I think. Yes, yeah, so it's got a set detonation range. Okay. <laughs> The bots don't know what happened. They're like, uh, what? This is crazy. That looks like Honestly, a good bot gun. This is reason enough to take this weapon as primary because you can just destroy all the factories. It's great against bots. It's great That's against... That's a bot gun. Well, the, the weaker bots. It's great against devastators. The only downside is if someone gets close to you like this, obviously you're not going to use it because they're too... Well, they're too close. Yeah, that's not for bugs. This is so powerful. I can't believe it can blow factories up. That just seems like... It, it seems like if it didn't do that, I still would be happy with it. I mean, look at these dudes. Who the hell is even shooting me? Somebody needs to do it with bugs, dude. See, obviously that is the problem. Oh, that's a problem. Saying, is that going to kill me? It looks like it's going to kill me. <laughs> it's looking right at me. Bugs. So I want to show you this first. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to see... Hello everyone, my name is Swanee, and thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. Now, Helldivers 2 just released the Democratic Detonation War Bond, and with it came a bunch of brand new goodies. We got some outfits, we got some victory poses, and of course, we got a bunch of brand new weapons. And for today's video, I'm going to give a small little breakdown and give you my thoughts and opinions and first impressions of each of these weapons. This includes the B-14 Adjudicator, the R-36 Eruptor, the G31 grenade pistol, the CB9 exploding crossbow, and the G123 thermite grenade. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first up, I want to talk about the B14 adjudicator. 
Now this is the first new weapon that you'll be able to unlock in the latest war bond, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it, this was my least favorite out of all of the new weapons. Really? But before I get into why I, this I is thought my it was least okay. favorite, let's go over the weapon stats. He's fighting bots. So first up, this is listed as a marksman rifle, which I immediately found to be a bit confusing, because the damage output is a measly 80, which is a lot lower when compared to the other two marksman rifles. It has a ammo capacity of 25 rounds per magazine. Is it explosive though? Of six magazines. It has a recoil of 50 and a fire rate of 550. And then for the weapon traits, it claims that it has medium armor penetrating. Now getting into the weapon's breakdown, for attachments it has no flashlight, which always kind of sucks to see. I always like when there's a flashlight option, especially for those dark maps. For zoom levels, it has three different zoom levels at 25 meters, 50 meters, and 100 meters, which I found to be very odd considering this is a marksman rifle. The scope, I am not a fan of the scope of this weapon, especially at the 100 meters. It feels really? like with this being a marksman rifle, I liked it. you should be able to shoot a lot further than 100 meters. Oh, rate it has two options which are semi-auto and full auto. okay i didn't now, think I gotta okay say, something immediately i thought it was far enough when i was using this weapon when i was using it it felt a lot like an assault rifle instead of a marksman rifle except it isn't as good as the other assault rifles no when compared directly to the other marksman rifles, i took yeah i was like i'm not doing full auto with rating, this <laughs> which puts this weapon in a weird spot you can immediately notice just how little damage the adjudicator does when compared to the diligence and the diligence counter sniper yeah but those weapons you can one shot kill most of the smaller enemy types and you can knock back some of those enemies with some stagger but with the adjudicator it was taking at least two to sometimes three shots to kill some of the smaller bugs and robots not and happening noticing that the stagger was pretty much not happening when I was shooting the medium tier All right, enemy types, like the Brood Commanders, or the Bile Spewers, or the Rocket Devastators, I wasn't able to stagger them at all. And while I'm using the Adjudicator, if there's a Rocket Devastator and he's bracing himself to launch his rockets at me, and I can't stagger him to knock him out of his animation, that's a pretty big downside when compared to some of the other weapons that have medium armor penetration. Now it can one-shot kill some of these smaller tier robots if you get a headshot, but I found that that's kind of hard to do. When I was testing out this weapon i found that a lot of my shots felt very inaccurate especially at the mid to long range so i went and tested out the recoil and i found that the recoil is all over the place it's a little bit more manageable when you're in first person but in third person this weapon just sprays everywhere and I was noticing that a lot of my shots weren't lining up with the scope sometimes. So I don't know if there's just a glitch going on where the weapons just aren't lining up accurately with the scope, but I was missing a lot of my shots. And at first I just thought it was yeah, damn, it was my this shit is beautiful. So then I switched over to keyboard and mouse and I was still missing a lot of my shots. So something is definitely up with the scope of this weapon and it doesn't feel very accurate. So to summarize my first impressions of this weapon, it just doesn't feel like it has a place. It doesn't feel as good as the assault rifles. That's too it bad. Feel as good as the marksman rifles. I felt like the devs didn't really know where to put this weapon when they were designing <laughs> it, and maybe I'm missing something. But loading it up and playing with this weapon for a couple of different hours, I wasn't immediately blown away by it, especially compared to some of the other weapons that came out in this war bond. The sickle. Some of the other ones, which I'm about to get into, you just point, shoot, boom, the enemies die immediately, and it's great. And this weapon just feels very underpowered. I would honestly probably pair it with some sort of stratagem that does explosive damage, like a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher, because you're definitely going to need it when it comes to taking on some of those bigger enemy types. Yeah. So overall, with the B-14 Adjudicator, I'm personally a little bit disappointed with this weapon, and I can already predict it now that I feel like a lot of the community's probably going to be complaining about this weapon too. Okay, so moving on, let's talk about the R36 Eruptor. Now this weapon is miles better than the previous one. Now it's listed in the explosive category, and this is probably the closest that you're going to get to a primary sniper rifle. This gun is so good that I'm honestly surprised that it's a primary weapon and it's not some support stratagem that you have to call in. It feels very comparable to the anti-material rifle, but with more explosions. I was honestly kind of blown away with just how good this weapon is. 
So let's go over the weapon stats. For weapon damage, it has an insane 380, but then to compensate for the crazy damage, they only give you five rounds before you have to reload. But fortunately, Ooh. you can carry up to 12 magazines when you're using this weapon, which gives you a total of 60 powerful shots before you have to go looking for ammo. It has a recoil of 75, which is pretty manageable, and then it has a very slow fire rate of 25. Now, because of the slow fire rate, you're going to have a two second delay between each of your shots because it's a bolt action rifle. This yeah. is not a weapon that you want to have up close and personal to enemies due to that slow firing rate and because of the crazy explosion damage. If you're not careful, the explosion damage from this weapon can kill you. So yeah, if an enemy gets right I up noticed your face that. And you try to panic fire, you are going to end up accidentally killing yourself with that explosive damage. I noticed that. Now, unfortunately, yet again, this weapon has no flashlight, but that's kind of understandable given what type of weapon this is. It has three zoom levels at 50 meters, 100 meters, and 200 meters. And from my testing, I've noticed that this weapon has very little bullet drop off. Like, this thing can go pretty far. I was able to hit enemies at a distance of over 200 meters pretty accurately with very little bullet drop off but do keep oh. in mind when you're trying to hit enemies at a distance the bullet travel time is a bit slower because these are big powerful explosive rounds they are going to take a little bit longer to get to the target so if you're trying to hit a target on I the see. move at a distance yeah. keep that bullet travel time in mind another plus side to this weapon is that it can blow up things in the environment like fences and the cargo containers so if you stumble it also across plugs holes too and you want to save yourself a grenade you can just use this primary weapon to easily blow up the containers. Yeah, it also and a plugs lot of holes also. weapons don't like have this holes. ability, so that's definitely a huge plus. And it has medium armor penetrating and very good stagger, so if you're going up against those medium tier I can types, still hear the video, but let me just refill my water really quick. Berserkers or anything that you need to stagger to buy yourself a couple seconds of time, this weapon is a great choice. And honestly, this is probably going to be my go-to weapon for both the automatons and the terminids. The explosion damage on this weapon is absolutely absolutely nuts. When I was going up against the Terminids and there was just huge clusters of the smaller enemies, one shot from this gun will easily kill like five plus smaller bugs in one shot. Same goes for the robots. I was playing an Eradicate mission where a lot of the bots were grouping up together and just one shot was taking them all out with ease. And this weapon can also one shot kill any of the bile spewers that shoot puke at you. I can't emphasize enough Ooh. just how great this weapon is against the I bugs. hate those, it dude. It's so good. I wasn't Wait a second. Did he say, the or the did he just say it one shots the spewers? No way, dude. Bed of chaos. Yeah. Shoot puke at you. I can't emphasize grouping up together and just one shot was taking them all out with ease. And this weapon can also one shot kill any of the bile spewers that shoot puke at you. I can't emphasize enough just how great this weapon that is. That is awesome. Bugs. It is so good. I wasn't having too much success against the bugs. With the bile titans or the chargers or the hulk. Smoke the weed hulk every day. Mm -hmm. are for anyway, those are meant for those bigger enemy types. You're not supposed to. Corey, you have a brand new train of runs with us. Candy runs. I haven't yet, I have not smoked it yet. I'm about to smoke it here in a second. Oh, it's pure evil. Get some sleep, Jimmy. I appreciate you. Battle Chaos is a very special boss, though. That boss. You can scan the boss, but also the boss can spam you. To use your primary weapon to take them out. And I recommend bringing <laughs> a support stratagem like the stalwart to help deal with those causing chaos and bad. Like I love it. Earlier, if you get rushed, you are going to end up blowing yourself up. So it's probably a good idea to mm. have your secondary weapon as something with a high rate of fire, like the machine gun pistol. Or what I like to personally do is call in the stalwart machine gun and use that. I knew you something to eat real quick for up close and personal stuff. And then I switch back to the R36 Eruptor for anything that's mid to far range. And honestly, I don't really have any complaints. The only nitpick I could maybe have is that it only has five shots, but the damage output is so powerful that I can excuse the five shots. I honestly think this right. is an S tier weapon. I'm in love with now, this with my first impressions. I was blown away by it. Like we're definitely said, putting on Eruptor. I think this should be a support weapon that you call in with a stratagem. I think it's that good. I give this weapon like a 10 out of 10. I, I absolutely love this weapon. I'm going to do that it's with a uh, stalwart. One of my new favorite weapons in all of Helldivers 2. Or Flame. 
flamethrower. So I want to go over the GP31 grenade pistol. And I don't think I'm going to have any controversial take with this weapon because, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a grenade pistol. You get one shot with it. No, that's the weapon that closes the bug holes. Sometimes you spawn in and you'll have two shots loaded in it. And it comes with eight shots in total before you have to go looking for more ammo. Now, this is basically just a miniature version of the support grenade launcher that you can call in as a stratagem. Except you only get one shot with <laughs> it and you can't rapid fire it. Now, this is a great utility weapon. Yeah, it is. This isn't the weapon that you switch to to just panic fire and blow everything up. That's not going to work. Especially if an enemy gets super close up into your face, the grenades are just going to bounce right off of their armor, and it's not going to do anything. And nope. if you find yourself in that sweet spot, the explosion damage can hurt you and kill yeah. you. So you definitely don't want to pull this out and panic fire grenades anyway. No. You know, you're obviously, you're going to kill yourself. So you're going to want to bring the GP31 grenade pistol with you if you want some additional help clearing out some of the objectives. Armor bonus with the 50% damage explosion bonus as well, too, would be nice, but you shouldn't have to rely on that. Tips. So, for example, the grenade pistol is great at blowing up those shipping containers, so you can get that sweet loot. It's yeah. great at blowing up fences if you need to destroy a fence for whatever reason. And then, obviously, it's great at doing explosive damage, so if you see a small group of enemies clustered up together, you can kill them all at once. Look and at then that. This weapon really shines when it comes to taste so good. bug holes or robot factories. Maybe you're out of grenades and you have no other options. It tastes so good. These robot factories <laughs> are a problem I personally <laughs> always run into. I've seen my God. have grenades on my person so having the gp31 grenade too good. on you you can just swap to your secondary shoot a quick grenade down the hole and congratulations you just blew yourself up a robot factory and it's also really good when it comes to blowing up the terminated spores oh. and the terminated eggs and i honestly don't have too many complaints with the grenade pistol it's a great secondary option for utility based missions I yeah tell me about the grenade and next up let's talk about the g123 thermite grenade we now, unlocked I that had high hopes for this grenade and maybe that's why i'm disappointed with it but i'm disappointed with this it's it's not that good especially when you compare it to the other grenades like the impact grenade i love impact just the default grenade it does so little damage and based off of like watching the trailer and the description of it, it says it's a thermite grenade designed to adhere to surfaces before burning at 2000 degrees Celsius, capable of burning through some armor. And it says it does 100 damage, it has 7 penetration, a radius of 2, and a fuse time of basically 3 seconds. They gotta buff and that. based off of the trailer gameplay, it looked like this was just going to be a sticky grenade that you, you know, stick it to the weak spots, and then it burns through the armor. Well, it just doesn't really work that good. I tried a number of different scenarios. Does he have the flam, uh, pumps, flame damage I increase? I chargers, I tried sticking it to tanks, and the damage numbers is Does just he so have the, the, the weapon? Mod, the ship mod, and then some to kill one enemy. I just don't see the appeal of this grenade. I figured it'd be hard to get the grenade to fall directly into the factory holes. Same kind of goes for the bug nest. You kind of have to get really close to the. They're still going to be shooting at. You. And it's the CB9. I heard this was not good. And anything outside of the eruptor just felt weak in comparison. Yeah, I, I heard. I heard. Yeah, I heard the crossbow was not good. The crossbow is not good. Let's pull up Hell Divers. Pull up the Hell Divers right now. <laughs> na, 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 na. Arkham City? Ooh. Potential, that's got potential. Let me do a little bit of research on that one. Let's pull up Hell Divers 2 for now. The steel is only like five bucks. This tastes really good. Candy runs tastes phenomenal. Very delicious. Very delicious. A 
interrupter on. Yeah, we were using adjudicator. I'm like, I think the eruptor was a little better. <laughs> mm -hmm. I enjoyed uh, using the eruptor too for um, uh, not the eruptor. Um, I think yeah, oh, the dominator. Sorry, the dominator for those bots. Yeah, the flammable damage here. Fire damage from strategy. Yeah, we need to do that. Um Oh, but that's not affected stratagems. That doesn't. Inf uh, wow, that's crazy. It doesn't affect the the thermite grenade. It really should. What the shite is going on here? Hell pods primed. Mission coordinates locked. Everybody's locked and loaded. Rail cannon strikes out here. Get some orbital air burst strikes dropping. Um. Definitely want to see a shield Jenny pack and the uh. Yeah, I guess it would have to be the stalwart. Um, that seems like the safest. There it is right there. Yeah, we'll have to just do stalwart. All right, look, we're gonna, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna experiment stalwart with eruptor. Stalwart with the Ruptor and Shield. Bubble Shield. Boba Shield. <laughs> the Boba. That's good blood. Okay, are we doing this? Oh, they got the citizens? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> I do love the, uh, the fire rate of the stalwart though, it does feel pretty good. Bella. <laughs> I 
hear something big. Parking location. Heavy. West. Close. Requesting orbital strike. Calling in orbital strike. Ah, oh, shit. Requesting orbital strike. Almost fucked that up. I thought that was gonna hit him. Yeah, that's fine. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna keep pushing. This light armor really feels pretty good too. I forgot we're rocking that. Damn. I'm thinking I might be in the mood for to rock a jetpack today, man. What are we thinking? Thinking about having a, making this a jetpack sesh. There's the rock right there. Tagging location east. The the magic rock is right there. Dropping a pin south, 100 meters. The ma yeah the magic rock is right here. Yeah, go get the samples, homie. Definitely wouldn't do grenade pistol because I I would still rely on this just for get rid of like my little small guys. New man. Did he get this? Okay, he got the super samps. All right, good. I guess the clip is out, okay. Sending in an eagle. Requesting orbital strike. Nice little seven piece right there. Oh shit, oh, okay. Whew. Oh god. Fifteen seconds so we can put that orbital on him. Cut left here. It's the time wrap. Five seconds. Got two of them here. Yeah, I'll keep them separated. Calling in orbital. All right, we got rid of him. Reload going while you're at it, homie. Frick, I can't even go over there. <laughs> oh, I wish I had the jetpack. See, this is the perfect time to have a jetpack. Freaking kidding me? Climb up, dude. Air Heavy on my Holy position. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> they're both dead. Place, man. Fuck! I was 
Almost right there. I see you to press down. <laughs> oh my god. This is ridiculous. Went right through that motherfucker. Right back in your motherfucking ass. Right back at. Oh, God! This place is the worst. <laughs> I took care of it. Holy frick. Calling down supply. Check back inbound. Reporting supply. Calling down a support weapon. Come on, uh. Oh my god. Dude, this fire. Yeah, today would be a good day to have a jetpack. If we're gonna be playing around in, in Hellmire, we're probably gonna want jetpacks. What is that all about? Yeah, just get to a higher place, man. Shit. Jesus. That's a dead body. It's just twitching. I don't know why. Oh shit! Pelican one approaching pickup. <laughs> Pelican one landing in progress. Shit's a little crazy. Tunnel breach. <laughs> Pleasure sauce fake TTV, another streamer on here. He's a death cap. Yeah, you keep him the death captain title just like me. <laughs> Cause it sounds so cool, dude.
Welcome back. Democracy's reach extends a bit further, thanks to you. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. The Galactic War needs you. Badass walking. Chilling. Looking like a G. <coughs> Allied destroyer has left squadron. Allied destroyer has left. I wish I could like matchmake him instantly away from the crew. You know what I mean? So of having to go through this sequence or go through this sequence and like let me matchmake immediately from just standing there. Or, I don't know. Eldite, the Super Destroyer is ready for your next mission. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods primed. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. Localization confusion. The scenery, a happy hell diver is a deadly hell diver. Recommend spending at least 2.4 seconds per mission enjoying the scenery. <laughs> I agree with that actually. <laughs> the scenery is quite nice. It is, it is. These fuckers, dude. Oh, yeah, the stalkers. These guys are the worst. Can't do shit. Motherfuckers are deadly, deadly. He had his resupply. I got a homie over here. Get to that freaking supply. Saw him at the corner of my eye. Get to that damn resupply over there. Stop slowing, stop slowing, stop slowing, stop slowing. Injury? What yeah. injury? <laughs> it did just one shot him. Oh my fucking god, these fuckers.
That was crazy. We gotta find that fucking stalker nest. Reload? Oh shit, I, I didn't mean to do the whole thing. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> These stalkers this morning. Guy. Hopefully this is near where my shit is. Democracy has landed. Ah! My shit's over there. Yeah, being naked with just this is not good. Oh, did it just one shot that stalker though? And I was, I forgot to use my jump pack, actually jumping with the jump pack. I need to remember that. It's not the bubble shield, it's the jump pack, homie. Yeah, you orbital. need to be jumping. I, I did zero jumping. And there were opportunities to do it. I just, I just realized, realized that, remembered that. Oh my fucking God. That stuff is so far away, yeah. Man, that, that shit just sucks. Should be like right ahead, straight ahead of me here. Oh, it does one shot the, the stalkers. Guys, dude. Allied destroyer has left the squadron. Calling in reinforcements. Calling oh, in orbital out. strike. Mag's empty. Fuck is the mag empty? Let's try to get our butts back in gear here. We're Back's trying to get used to these new weapons and stuff. It's a new loadout. Afraid I'm never asleep. <laughs> Looky the, looky there, looky there, gee golly. Found something! Rare sample acquired! Found something! Is that arc thrower though? No, we'll still. Ah, tornado. Fire tornado. Oh, for fuck's sakes. We got shriekers out here, too. I'm on it. This is not cool, dude. Where is the nest? Is that the... Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Reloading. Get a reload in for this too, right? New man. I love this gun for that. The one shotting of the the stalkers is is so good. That cannot be overstated. There's our super samps. Calling the super samps. Reinforce people. Reinforce people. Reinforce people. Reinforce people. Reinforce people. Reinforce people. Requesting air support. Reinforce people. Yeah. I see why people, yeah, people are like, no, fuck that. I, I'll just drop the damn sample. I'm not helping them. Losers. Ready for another mission, Helldiver? Next. Another. Close this curtain before the sun starts to blind us. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Northern. Orbit synchronized. <sighs> Be good to get to the gym today. Let's do three of those. Why not? And throw in a laser cannon and pull out a sickle instead. I'm kind of tired of this gun. I mean, it's awesome. You know? Let's do that. That way, I don't have to rely on it. Launch initiated. I didn't pick my stratagem. I didn't pick the stratagem. I didn't pick the stratagem. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I didn't pick a booster. I didn't pick up not stratagem booster. Sorry. I didn't pick a booster. Fuck. Yeah, 
just a damn laser cannon. That's all I'm worrying about. Yeah, I got three fucking things. Orbital Gatling Barrage, Orbital Rail Cannon Strike, and an Orbital Air Burst Strike. Dropping a pin. Eat 200 meters. I found something. Bug hole, north, 100 meters. Yeah, we need to go deal with that. Requesting air support. <laughs> Calling in orbital strike. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I didn't know I couldn't go behind me in that mountain. Yeah, I got I got trapped. Oh my fucking god. Stupid start. Stupid mistakes. But oh, my laser's over here. The hell is my laser at? Fucking, yeah, team kills, all that bullshit, no booster. I'm like, nah, bro. Fucking, yeah. We're, we're, we're having bum runs right now. Give me a good run, please. TJ, you gotta do better. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> Dial it the fuck in. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods primed. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. I might just sit here and wait for other people to come in. No, we're not doing that. No. Sitting there waiting on people. No, man. You never had it enough. Diver. Mission coordinates locked. Hell pods primed. Engaging orbital thrusters.
Just curious to see what it looks like. I like this setup a lot more. has it in us forever. I wish he could heal while he was in the air with jetpacking, that'd be dope. Crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we need to be focusing on objectives. Yeah. Southwest. 
far. <laughs> that scream. <laughs> Down a century. Fuck. No heels. Ready to liberate. Charger Shit. down. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, it'll still be there, right? No more Hellmeyer stuff. And they need flame retardant suits, by the way. Like a hell suit. They can call it like a hell suit. Or like the hell seeing or something. Calling in reinforcements. over this place i'm over this place <laughs> i'm over this place man no more no fucking more jesus christ <laughs> holy hell man he's just just chatting because we're getting ready to go to the gym here very shortly Remove the category on here. Take that shite off right now. Take that off right now. <laughs> Shit. I can't save you. I can't save you. I can't save you. I can't. I can't save you. I can't. I can't save you. Sleazy behavior. Oh, God. <laughs> Where is the uh, I'm looking for a particular playlist that I have? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, 
fuck is stream share? Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. I mean, I didn't expect you to start playing all of it. Uh, I wanted to watch something else funny here. Um, YouTube, matter of fact, YouTube, I'm going to say good day to YouTube, okay? I had a great time streaming with you. We're going to stay alive on Twitch, okay? But if you guys are watching this YouTube stream right now, we're going to continue on Twitch. We're going to watch some videos and smoke a little bit of reef round, And I'm going to get ready to go to the gym here very shortly. Uh, so YouTube, I'll see you all on the other side. I'll see y'all later today, YouTube. Twitch, we're still, we're still going to stay live a little bit longer.